in this video we would like to calculate the time period of a loaded spring right so what is a loaded spring let me explain first to a fixed present support there is a spring suspended and to the bottom of the spring a mass m is suspended then the weight of the load that we have suspended mg automatically acts in a downward direction because of which the spring expands and this m comes down because of the expansion of the spring by a value something like x then what we can say that the spring goes back to its original value original position because spring has a nature of restoring back to its original position because of elastic nature the force that is acting is restoring force of course that restoring force is equal to the applied force itself mg is directly proportional to the elongation of the spring where m is the load suspended so proportionality can be i write a minus x simply because elongation and restoring force are acting in the opposite direction so mg proportionality can be eliminated with a constant k where that k is called spring constant or force constant so i can write g as minus k by m into x where x is the displacement of the spring g is the acceleration g is acceleration of course due to gravity k is the displacement of the oscillatory motion which says that acceleration k and m are constants negative sign is directly proportional to displacement and negative sign indicates that it is in opposite direction so what we can say is so the spring is simple harmonic motion this equation what we have written here is something similar to the equation that what we have derived for a body in simple harmonic motion what is that we have derived for a vertical in simple harmonic motion acceleration is equal to acceleration is equal to minus omega square y where y is the displacement so if i compare these two equations both are same this is uh, equation number 1 this is equation number 2 here we have acceleration due to gravity here we have acceleration here we have displacement here also i have a displacement here you have a negative sign here also i have a negative sign so here you have omega square here you have k by m so when we compare equation number 1 and 2 You can write omega square as k by m. M is the mass that is suspended to the spring here. So omega is equal to square root of k by m. You know when one rotation is completed, omega can be written like d theta by dt. Angle covered in one rotation is two pi. Time taken for that is called time period t. so if you take that into consideration and we write the equation um, in the place of omega i can write 2 pi by t as i have derived equal to square root of spring constant by mass attached to the body so the time period of a loaded spring is 2 pi into root of m by k it's expression that we have derived for a spring right and if you just want to remember back for a simple pendulum we have derived equation for the time period as t equal to 2 pi into root of l by g so this time period of a simple pendulum independent of uh, g whereas time period of a loaded spring is independent of acceleration due to gravity that is even the place changes spring is not going to change right spring constant is not going to change and with respect to time periods are not affected so 
wherever you need a uh, kind of a time period which is independent of the g we shall prefer using a, a spring in shm rather than a simple pendulum that's how we need to understand this right i just want to add one small point to this discussion what is that is is here all in this case is the mass of the spring we have assumed that the spring is light weighted its mass is ignored is mass of the spring is also taken into consideration you call it like small m in that case it can be derived the time period equal to 2 pi into root of mass suspended and mass of the spring by 3 we'll get it as a by 3 spring constant of course this is how we can handle uh, loaded spring and it's a time period that's it thank you for watching